Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel, Deb Chanel's 48's World. I guess you're wondering what all the buzz is about now. Well, the buzzer meter has went all the way out. Pretty much not exploded as you can see on my meter. Social media is all up in a blaze. But it's a happy blaze, okay? Social media, all its contents, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube and over the global world. The hot topic we're going to bring to you in partnership with Page 6, because yes, I'm getting their commentary that they wrote out, and I'm saying thank you for that wonderful selection of an article, okay, that I'm going to be breaking to you from Page 6. This TV program, media, social media entity, uh, entertainment, biz, blog, however you want to call them. It's on none other than Lala Anthony. Yes, Lala Anthony done sit there and broke the bank at the casino. Okay, 68K she came away with. And I'm saying college fun for Cayenne. College fun for Cayenne. <laughs> okay, hopefully he's going to a four-year degree college somewhere in these 52 states of ours and until he can figure out what he want to do. At least we know he'll be educated through it all, all right? I know you've been going through a lot, but it's now the tables have turned, la la. You got to take your winnings. You got to go on and just enjoy life, okay? And take care of your son for the day you leave this earth of existence. Yes, go on and be the best mother you can be. Take your winnings. Put it up for Cayenne's college education fun and do your thing girl how does it feel to be a 68k winner and i know you were down there with your friends you didn't go to um uh, what was it um uh, shoot i don't know what casino it was somewhere in new orleans okay but you went out there with your friends and everything celebrating your big win and i know all i'm saying can i get five on it can i get ten can i get a hundred can you pay my rent for this month <laughs> and ti as well as did the scent down there, probably joning and clowning you too about, you know, all them uh, friendship uh, dinners I was giving you and lunches and stuff. It's time for you to pay the bank, honey. Pay me back my money. And Lala probably looking at him like, ha, huh, I don't think so. Okay, I'm going with my winnings and I'm getting up out of here. I'm taking the next red eye and get away from you, crown snatchers. Okay, put this money up for my baby, my Cayenne. Yes. That's my commentary. That's how I saw the story. But let's get into what Page 6 Entertainment Gossip News has to say about her winnings, okay? It was published on July 8th by Chelsea. I guess it's uh, Hurch. Okay, she's that little journalist that wrote the article on this piece on La La Winnings of 68K. She goes in to say, La La Anthony hit the jackpot. The actress 36 won 68000 at a slot machine in New Orleans this weekend. Right after her rep confirmed that she is pursuing the next steps to end her marriage to NBA player Carmelo Anthony. Okay, and I'll be like, yeah, I wouldn't even be using the last name no more, okay? I'll be hyphenated something or whatnot. But just use your first name, honey. Lala. That's what I'm going by, Lala. Call me Lala, okay? Oh, anyway. She was in New Orleans for the Essence Festival when she shared her big win on Instagram. I don't know if you should have did that because the IRS be right there waiting. And you already done posted 68K? Girl, taxes. So you ain't really got 68K. Bless your heart. But a win is a win because I know you didn't put that much into it on a slot machine. You know what I'm saying? I hope you didn't spend 60K to get, get that 68k and now nah, that wouldn't be that would be very foolish but it is what it is okay but going back to the article it says her strange husband carmelo 35 was not with her and lala seemingly threw shade at him during the festival she pumped up the crowd by telling them that she didn't care about a man anymore now just a sidebar stop fooling yourself honey you love that man you had a baby by him you spit Spent a great deal of time nurturing your marriage, which, hey, he don't fail. I don't know how many times miserably. It's time to just cut your losses and move on. Okay. Just like playing 
or gambling, you know, in a casino. You have to know when to win. You have to know when to, what do you say? You have to know when to draw, when to fold, and when to close or shop, okay? Enough is enough. My pun intended, not in this article. Moving back to the article, says Lala and Carmelo's relationship has been on the rocks for quite some time. The couple tied the knot in 2010 after they welcomed their son, Cayenne, now 12, and split, <coughs> excuse me, in 2017. Lala filed for separation, but they did reconcile in 2018. And you gave him a whole year, he still freaked up. Okay, go on with your baby, Cayenne, and live life. Okay, you have one life to live, and it needs to be in peace and serenity. Okay, all right. Go back to the article, it says, but the relationship took a turn after Carmelo was spotted on a yacht with Sarah Smyrny. He denied being inappropriate with her, but a source told Page Six that Lala was a wreck over the photos. She had trust issues and does not trust him fully, another source said, noting that she is in therapy. As Lala and Carmelo has been living apart for quite some time, I think they said it was a year, y'all, but that's my speculation on some things I had read you know, on another web page or whatever, but may or may not be true, but we do know they were separated for a year. Okay. Okay. By other blogs, reputable blogs. Lala is proceeding with legal discussions as the next step in their relationship. Her rep oh. They will remain loving. Okay. And committed parents to their son. Lala doesn't seem to be phased, though, as she celebrated her birthday in Atlantic City, sans Carmelo as well. Okay. So, like I said, if y'all didn't catch my other video that I did on their demise of a marriage or something like that, just look at my archives. You can tell. Just look over there. You can see what I'm talking about. Watch that video. I give great detail of, you know, and great visuals to show you that she should drop, uh, drop them like a bad habit. I went down there, mom. And, you know, it's just a bad deal. Bad deal altogether. So, I'm just saying, celebrate, celebrate. Thank you. Thank you for this nice article that was printed out on Lala and all her winners. They did a great job representing her. But I'm like, Lala, they kind of put you out there. You kind of put yourself out there. Because now you got to run from the IRS. See, you can't even run from the IRS, Lala. They already got it. Photos of the pictures of what you want, of the winnings, girl. So you got the see, you ain't even got 68K. You'll probably walk away with what? 40 something, Lala. 40 something, girl. So I tell you, you got to keep stuff to yourself. Okay? You got to keep stuff to yourself. Just call you win. Be like, I don't take no pictures of me. Don't do that. I'll be covering my face with my dress or shirt I was having. Put my cap down, like walk to the side or something. Put my shades on. Uh -uh, Y'all wouldn't know about no lot. No. But since she was a little distraught, she wasn't half thinking. She's worried about her husband. He cheating on her again. She got trust issues. See, you can't go back to something that you can't trust. Every time he walk out the house, every time he go on the road, playing ball, this, that, and that. If he go out your sight for 10 minutes, you're going to be like, what is he doing, Lord? He could just be taking a piss in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? But your mind be all everywhere. Because there's no trust there. There's no loyalty. And there's no love, honey. There's no love. Because ain't no way he going to be having a whole other baby with some other woman. Then, not even representing for that child. He done went on to somebody else that's single. Okay? Oh, out there on a yacht. Don't know if it comes from your money or his money. Because, see, he's in between kings. He can't get no home team. To uh, sign him. You know, he's still a free agent out there, okay? So it might be a little, your money going in that little trip too with me. I would have been over there. What, what, what seas he's on? What boat? What's the name of the boat? Because I, mm -mm, I would have, mm -mm, not me, not nowhere how, okay? We would have been showing out and I would have had my lawyers on deck. We would have been like filming everything. How they say, uh, breaking news, breaking news, okay? Celebrity gossip, okay? We would have been having a very salacious story going on. And he would have been seeing me in the next couple of months in the courtroom. Okay. There's nothing else we can do with this story that we call ourselves writing of a marriage and a love affair. No, we can't do it no more. We, I, no, mm -mm, can't, I ain't, I don't want to hear anything. Shut it up. Shut up. That's what I've been saying. Okay. That's exactly what I've been saying. Because, honey, uh-uh. 
Uh-uh. That's too much. Too much. Okay? Too much, too little, too late. Okay? As Denise Williams was saying it. Okay? All right. It's over. Yes, it's over. The chips are down. But how our bridges tumble down, girl. Uh-uh. No. Save the rest of your life and your happiness for Cayenne. And maybe you will find love again in another man. I don't know because I think you should be worried about your child and just getting him straight. Just have friends around you. Go out and date. You know, after the situation has definitely taken its course, maybe so a year or two, then get back out there. You know, but it ain't, it ain't, it ain't about no marriage no more when it comes to Cayenne. I mean, yeah. Got Cayenne's protection because you don't want him sitting there looking at y'all back and forth, back and forth, mixed up, turning upside down marriage. Because he's going to get confused and he ain't going to know how to treat a woman out there when he get of age and wanting to get married or date somebody seriously. He's going to think he can, this is acceptable because his mom accepted it. It's not acceptable. Okay, this is this new thing people are trying to bring in. These open marriages, you know, do what you want to do. These swingers, you know, all this. Now nah, I just see nothing but a pool of diseases. Okay, because every day everybody ain't strapping it up. You know, they just all out here riding raw, bringing babies into the world, uh, extramarital affairs going on. Please, people, spare me. Miss me with all of that feces. Okay, I ain't here for it. So, Lala, that's all I got to say, girl. Thank you. Thank you, Page Six, for giving me something to talk about. Okay? Showing somebody in a good light, winning money, being happy. Face was glowing. Her face is very much so glowing. I was happy for her, honey. I'm like, do your thing. Do your thing. That's right. Get with some good friends. Go out there. Have a good time. If you win excessively like you did, put it on Cayenne's future. You know what I'm saying? Because all the success and all this entertainment... It's only going to last for so long. And then you may find yourself working a nine to five again. You know what I'm saying? You might just get tired of the industry, period. And you just want to live a normal life out of a fishbowl. And, you know, just go all gracefully and peacefully. Because if you ain't got peace, but you got all the money in the world, you ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Okay? What is it to profit the whole wide world and lose your soul? Okay, that's biblical, y'all. Dropping knowledge. Dropping knowledge. But it is what it is. For those who hear, let them hear. For those who see, let them see. Okay, but that's all I had. Thank you, Page Six, for giving me something to talk about on my channel. Thank you for my subscribers coming in and viewing what I had to talk about. And we're going to say peace out. I'll see y'all tomorrow with some more cutting edge trending news in social media world. Okay, be blessed. See you later. Bye-bye.